Hello and welcome Portal Masters. Today is a special little video for you guys. Today, I will max out, let's go Wham Shell. And if you guys haven't seen how I got him, check out my previous video. Alright Portal Masters, now that you know what this video is about, I'm Victor of Saving Skylands, let's get into it. Okay, now that we're loading up Trap Team, you're going to want to make sure that you have your Chaos Crystal handy, along with any Earth Crystal. You're going to need them. So, you're going to want to make sure that you have this feller in your earth crystal. This guy is going to help you get all the gold you need. So, you are going to want to go to chapters and select the first level. On this level, Chomp Chest, well actually on any level, Chomp Chest has the ability to scan the ground for gold. And on this level, there are three places where he can scan, and they're there every single time. And he gets 3,000 gold from each, or here he gets 1,000 gold from each one. Hold on, I'm doing it right now. So there's one right here. It's in the same spot, so you guys never have to worry about it moving. It's 1,000 every time. And you could do it three times in every time you run it. There's one right here next to the flowers. Another thousand. And then there's one right here by this bush. And like that, you have 3,000 gold. To max out a Skylander, you're going to need, and then you just re repeat it. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, to max out a Skylander, you're going to want around 10,000. That seems to usually do it. You might either have to go back or you might have a little left over. Yeah, they're different, especially with like the SWAT Force characters. So you just switch back to Chomp Chest. You sim through what Buzz has to say. Now I'm not going to... Uh, do this as many times as I need to. I'm just going to run through it twice. So you guys know exactly where they're at. And they never move. 3,000 every time. Every time you run it. You get three spots. 1,000 each. I have already have 6,000 gold. And that took me, what, two minutes? So we'll head back to the academy now. And we can take Chomp Chest off now. Because we're done with him. We ain't got to deal with him talking or anything. Now see my Wham Shell is level 3, so we'll get on to how to level that up next. So here, buy some upgrades. See now you just have to go through the first level, usually it's 4 times, sometimes 3, depending on where you, how far you've gotten with your Skylander. I'm just going to not bother picking a path right now because that's what I'm not what I'm focused on in this video. I'm just trying to keep this video short and sweet so you guys don't have to skip really anything and you guys know exactly what to do. So, you guys see that he is level 3 currently. In probably 5 minutes I can take him to level 10. You want to 
be able to, obviously you have to beat all these get to the last level now this is where your chaos tr your uh, chaos crystal comes in handy because chaos is the only villain that you can trap that can reset his own meter like with the amount of time you get to use him all you have to do is put uh, his magic power down you have to select it at the right time and it totally recharges his meter and then when his meter is recharged you use the undead spell and that's the one that does the most damage and he'll take out enemies so fast and it'll just bring in so much XP for your guys I'll show you so you guys understand but you're obviously going to want to switch him out in between so he can recharge a little bit. Obviously he can do it himself, but Chaos, the whatever clone version or whatever's talking right now, uh, talks. So the other Chaos can uh, recharge while he's doing that. Okay, we'll start the next wave and I'll show you guys exactly how I use Chaos. Because this is really the only time I use chaos. So you're gonna, it's the X, you hold it down until, oh, I missed it. Wait for it to reset. Right after tech. There you go. Look how much damage it does 780. 780. And it doesn't matter if they destroy the chest, it really doesn't. It's gonna destroy them if they destroy it, so. And you'll get the XP from it, anyways. See, look, already level 5. It's been probably 20 seconds in this mode. He does so much damage. That's why you never have to worry about anything ever taking you down. Because the villains can't take damage. And if he does take damage, all it does is reduce his uh, meter. Which he can just reset again. And you do this over and over and it keeps it fun because you're still battling you're still doing it's still active see chaos's meter isn't reset his first one when you hold down X is magic so boom reset then right before tech let go you got undead see we're already level 7 Once I get to level 10, I will stop. I just want to show you guys how I do it because it doesn't take long at all. You can sit down for an hour and max out 20 characters. It's it's super helpful. And if you like like level up, leveling up during the story mode, because I mean it does help. It destroys. I mean it does a good amount of damage to the screen when you do level up. Um, just make them usable. That's that's all I'd say. M get them to level uh, five or ten. Make them usable. Depends what game it is. If it's Imaginators, you're gonna want to <laughs> max out anybody who's not a sensei or your Imaginator. <laughs> Excuse me, I might sneeze. I feel it coming along. Um, but otherwise, in any other game, get them to level ten. That gives you half another half to go. There. I'm close enough to 10 where I can stop the video. Um, I think I made it as simple as I could. Chomp chest to get the gold. There's three spots in the first level. Then use chaos in his mode to one, reset his meter, and then use the undead attack. Lock it in, which means you hold it in until it comes up, and then use it repeatedly does the most damage out of all of his attacks and then when his meter gets low or you know he takes damage his meter goes down go right back to the magic which it's, it's a little hard sometimes to get so I just switch him right back magic boom meter reset and the last level gives the most amount of XP so your characters will level up so fast like I only went through one or two rounds I can't remember but, and I took him from three to nine in one level. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. This is just the way I do it, and I think it's the easiest way to do it, and it keeps the game fun. So, I hope this helped. 
And thank you for watching. Leave a comment if it helps you. Because that helps me in putting content out. As always, see you soon. <laughs>